Hi friends, we'll solve problem on projectile motion. Let's see what is given in this problem. A player throws a ball with an initial velocity of 18 meters per second from point A. 18 meters per second from point A. Determine maximum height h at which ball can strike the wall. That means you can say at this point B where it strikes the wall and corresponding angle alpha. Now in this problem as angle alpha varies accordingly it strikes the wall at different height. That means here this y or you can say h it depends on angle alpha. This y must be maximum or h must be maximum for which angle is not given. That means you have to find out angle alpha also corresponding angle alpha. Using any equation when you substitute your y that y is difference between final and initial position is y. But what you have to find out height h, height h is measured from ground. That means what is the relation between y and h is nothing but what so this height from where this ball is thrown is given as 1.5 meter. That means h is equal to y plus 1.5 meters. What data is known here? The horizontal distance x covered is given. That means if we consider motion from A to B. Here motion from A to B. What is given? U0 equal to 18 meters per second. Angle alpha is unknown. This y is also unknown but x is known as what 15 meters x is 15 meters if we use equation of path number of terms unknown terms are two one is alpha other one is what y but as y is a function of alpha using mathematics condition of maxima uh, that angle is possible without that solution is not possible because uh, data what is given is only x and u0 and you have to find out maximum y and corresponding angle alpha that means as alpha varies your y varies at what particular angle alpha y becomes maximum. If we use equation of path what will get here y equal to tan of theta 0 x minus g x square upon 2 u 0 square cos square theta 0. In this one unknown terms are what? Alpha and y. X and u0 is known. So we will substitute here value of x and value of u0. Y equal to tan to here angle is alpha. X is nothing but what? 15 minus g is 9.81 into 15 square 2 into u0 is known 18 to 18 square and cos square alpha. That means y and alpha unknowns are two unknowns. Now if we will find out this one value 9.81 into 15 square upon 2 into 18 square and if we will substitute here what will get here this becomes 15 tan of alpha minus if we will find out this value this value comes out to be 3.406 1 upon cos square alpha is what 6 square alpha this one is nothing but equation of y in terms of alpha say equation a now if we substitute different value of alpha you will get different value of y we are interested in y maximum condition from mathematics if we use for for y to be maximum differentiation of this y with respect to variable is what alpha must be equal to 0. That means if we differentiate this equation and if we equate to 0 with respect to variable that is alpha then angle alpha is possible. If we differentiate to what we will get here dy by d alpha equal to we will differentiate this equation. If we differentiate differentiation of tan alpha is 6 square alpha minus 
if we differentiate sec square alpha is nothing but 2 sec alpha and then differentiation is sec alpha tan alpha that means it becomes what 2 sec alpha into sec alpha tan alpha and this must be equal to what 0. Here sec square alpha term is there, here sec alpha and sec alpha this term is there that means sec square alpha, sec square alpha will take common and uh, 0 upon sec square alpha that becomes what 0. If I will take sec square alpha common this one comes out to be 15 minus this value 3.406 into 2 into tan of alpha equal to what 0 that means 0 upon this x square alpha becomes 0 that means 15 minus 3.406 into 2 tan alpha is what 0. From this one what we will get here if we will simplify and if we will write 15 minus 3.406 into 2 tan alpha equal to what 0 or 15 equal to 3.406 into 2. If we will write tan alpha that is 15 upon 3.406 into 2 tan inverse of this value you will get what angle alpha where this one is 65 using calculator if you find out this answer comes out to be 65.57 degrees. That means this is the inclination at which this ball must be thrown so that it attains maximum height or where it strikes the wall that location is maximum. Once you are getting angle alpha, this angle alpha will substitute in our equation A so that we will get what? Y maximum. That means from equation A, if you will write Y is nothing but Y max equal to our equation is 15 tan of what? alpha, alpha is 65.57 minus 3.406 into sec of 65.57 and its square. What we will get here is y maximum and y maximum value comes out to be 13.10 meters. But h maximum if you want to find out it is from ground and it is at what distance the y maximum plus point of projection is at 1.5 meter above the ground. Therefore, h maximum comes out to be 14.6 meters. This is from ground. This is our final answer. Thank you.